I wanted to work in data visual, visualizations. Um, and to do that, of course, I had to start with the data. So that was a struggle all on its own, just trying to figure out how to get that from all these different like open source sites. And the um, data.gov actually has a ton of open source information and then just finding the few resources that had it available in a API um, was kind of like the first challenge. So after I figured that out, the most readily available and well-organized data was actually from this US Energy Information Administration. So I decided to check out like uh, carbon emissions over uh, like the past 40 years. So uh, when I got the API calls working, the data comes back to me like this. So I've got this JSON that I can manipulate. So I started off wanting to visualize with D3 because obviously it does like the coolest visualizations ever. But the problem is I also wanted to use React and Redux. And React and D3 don't work together because they're both trying to manipulate the DOM. Um, so I got this going, and uh, you can see here that if you float over these bubbles, it'll tell you on the right um, the emissions for each year. Um, unfortunately, this little bubble is supposed to hover over the states, but that didn't quite work out. But it looks kind of cool. A little <laughs> hover is fun. It was kind of an exercise in CSS. And then because it's D3, I just had to serve up these static HTML files and manually edit the JSON, which was a huge bummer. Just like took all the fun away from like the React Redux Axios, just like feeding all of that information from the API calls. So this is the D3 information here, and it's just kind of like a lot of appending to the DOM, and uh, this is the data that it's pulling from, which I had to manually enter into the JSON. So boo, I kind of like left that um, Friday feeling pretty defeated and started looking into other um, methods for visualization that actually worked with React and D3 and came to uh, this victory charts, which was a fitting name because it was uh, like felt so nice to be able to work with something that just like took the information I was giving it and actually be able to render it in components. It was actually really cool. So over, over here, if you click through uh, the years, uh, the same information is actually over to my right. So uh, if I go back to 84, there we go. So 490 million tons. So that's all the way over here. Um, and then, so if you click through the years, great, you can see all that. So um, the way this comes together is through the store. So here's my data mapping, making these API calls. And then up here, the best part about Victory D3 is I was able to wrap all of these bar um, things and components and uh, really just filter them down based on handing them years based on the HTML. So uh, just real quick, I'll show you. So I had that one by year, and then I went ahead and made it by state, because I thought that would be cool to see too. So then here, if you click through each one of the states, you can see their emissions um, through, uh, because all these components were so easily editable once I had them down. Uh, so this is a components wrapper. This maps the state. This formats the chart, the information, so that the bar graph has information the way it needs it and then it's handed down to this bar component um, that renders this graph. So uh, it's a pretty beef overview, but um, yeah, that was kind of my journey in data. So thanks for listening, you guys.